All right, guys, this is New Jersey Lost and Found here. I'm going to uh, show you a little trick that I uh, came up with with my soldering iron with a blunt tip at the uh, tip. What I did, um, well, actually, the reason for this video is to turn um, round rims for round axles, rims, into large square axle rims and when you normally go about doing it you most likely you know try to get them on and you put them through the vice grip and, and they crack or whatnot or I'll take a lighter and take the tip end of the uh, square axle and I light, light it like this and wait you know, a minute until it gets hot, and then I'll take my rim that's a round rim axle and I'll push it down, let it go all the way through, and pop it out. But what I did here was I took my uh, soldering iron, I put a blunt tip on it right here, and I attached a large square axle to it by using a paper clip. Um, this was actually kind of last minute, but there's much better wire that you can get than this. Um, side note, uh, I was also thinking of actually taking the, uh, the tip itself off and making the blunt tip a flat tip, drilling a hole inside the soldering a bit and inserting the square axle large square axle into that hole so it would be permanently set in place and it would be my bit my soldering bit that i used to tap wheels but for now what i did was i just used this wire here and attached a large square axle here and a little bit of it is coming out um just enough for me to push the wheel in and push it out you can see and it all goes all the way down here it was actually a lot higher but for me pushing it down it was been pushing down so let's hope i can do this without failing um so i'll take a wheel here these wheels are pre-tapped i did all these uncracked rims and this one, this one's done as well. Um, these are not done. This is a rim that's, that is uncracked. It's a round um, Gen 1 uh, rim. I'm going to take my nifty jig here with my axle attached to this hot ironing blunt tip and I'm going to press and form a square hole and you go down slow not too fast and you don't want to burn your fingers and you go down just until you meet the other end Just like that and you pull it out there you go so now I got a tapped square axle rim that will go on to a chassis that looks like this and so there's four uh, rims that are completely shot on this. So I'll take the, uh, the wheels off of this, keep the axles on there so I don't lose out on the gear inside. I'll slide something like this that has a, um, a good solid wheel on uh, one side. Excuse me. One side. Slide it through this way in. Turn the axle or turn the chassis around while it's in place and I take the pre-tapped 
rim, a little bit of this glue. It's Bob Smith Industries, MaxiCare, extra thick. You gotta make sure you get the extra thick. Put a little bit of glue right in the hole. And then when the axle's installed, let's say it's installed here, you might have to light the tip a little bit at the, at the tip, just a little bit, just to get going. And then you can push on your, your wheel like so. You might need a vise. Yeah, you're gonna have to put this through the vise. But it's tapped already, so when you put it through, it should not crack. I gotta line the line it up. There you go, like that. And then you put it in your vise. And you slowly press it together. And I also have this little jig here. And my box of goodies that I made. It's a little wooden dowel. And it fits around the rim. Um, like so. Like this. And you insert it into the rim. Like that. And then you put this in your vise. Like that. So. This here. Stays. It doesn't get pushed out any further. And this is oak. This is in um popular or anything this is oak so it's sturdy wood so the axle actually will hit the oak dowel and it will prevent it from going further out this way and so your vice is only working where you want it to work on this side pushing it towards in that way of course that's while it's on the chassis itself so yeah that's it so tapping wheels easy one two three i did all these in a matter of two minutes and they're all tapped the next thing i want to work on is how to turn a an original rim into a small square axle and the way i'm going to go about doing that i think is by filling the void with some type of epoxy and then starting all over with the same process but with a small axle attached to my soldering gun but i gotta figure out what type of epoxies melt um this glue doesn't work that great if I stuff it all with glue, it doesn't it doesn't work. Um, I need some type of an epoxy, but that's that'll be the next video. Hope this help you help you out, guys, and uh, thanks for watching from New Jersey Lost and Found. Take care, guys. Bye bye.